Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Are you having trouble catching catfish in the summer? Well, you're not alone. Come along with me in this video. I'm going to go chasing catfish late in the spawn, almost into the post-spawn stages, to see if we can put a few in the boat during this very difficult time to catch catfish. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm starting out this morning uh, anchoring up on a shoal. Uh, I'm not on the edge of it. There's kind of a steep ledge that comes up. It goes real shallow real quick. And uh, come in here anchored up. This is a place that can produce some flatheads uh, and it can produce some blues, uh, good blues, certain times of the year. It's depends on, depending on what's going on and how they're feeding. I'm just trying to check out this part of this uh, river system, see what's going on with the spawn, and uh, see if any of these fish are starting to feed. Oh, we got an eater after sitting here for 45 minutes anchored uh, first bite I've got first and only bite but we're hooked up that's good my fish is coming up the boat uh, come on Nelly get stay below the anchor below it oh crap it's going the other way we got a problem Ugh. Oh God, are you serious? It went <laughs> up shallow onto the shoal. Uh. All right, about the chaos. I was just getting ready to go round the anchor and go get it, and it came back. It is nice blue. Nice male, nice male. Full of anger. Full of anger. Get it off of there. Right there is a worn out, beat up male. Look at that, that's a good looking fish. Warlord right there, buddy. Head messed up, fins. Torn, battered, beaten. Good fish. A lot of people see these and think they're a channel cat. Fifteen, sixteen pounds. Good looking fish. Feel that anal fin. The outside part of it. It's a blue. They kind of get what's funny is they get a little bit of a once you get them spread out like that. You can see that flatter outer edge on them. And you know. They get rounded there at the front. Channel Cat would come on out and round back up that way more. Both of them got a fork tail. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. Finally got one going. Kind of switched up a little bit here. I got four lines on the bottom and I brought two of them up suspended and put live baits on them. As soon as I put one of them down, boom, it folded over. Sadly, it didn't stay hooked up. A lot of slime on the line. This is one of the bottom rigs, one of the Santee rigs on the bottom. Nothing's hit the live bait yet. There's fish in here. There's a lot of fish in here. Uh, they're suspended uh, in the bottom 10 feet of water. So I've got the bait, the live baits right above those. There's a few that are showing up big arches further up in the water column. And uh, that's kind of where I've got these other baits at, these live baits. Hoping they'll hit those. I went with live baits, I'm trying to work him around the drift sock, for the simple reason that water clarity uh, is very clear. And uh, I figure if these fish got close to it, trying to make him go below the drift sock, 
figure with a lot of water clarity the way it is, these fish might be more apt to hit a fish, live fish, than they would a cut bait. So we'll see if that thesis plays true. It's a good looking fish. Oh, he's barely hooked though. He's probably not coming in the boat, guys. That one is probably... Oh, got it. <sighs> Managed to get it. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Huh. Maybe hooked better than I thought. And right there is where the forgiveness of monofilament will save you. Nice fish. It's a tainer. Get heavy belly. Look at that. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. Look at him, guys. Get a picture of that one before I turn it loose. It's a good fish. Well, folks, it's getting on up later in the morning. I uh, made a pull down through here, through an area I hadn't fished in many years. And uh, there's a lot of fish in there suspended. I thought I was going to get... only had that one pull down on the uh, suspended bait. Uh, a lot of fish in there. Uh, and I don't even know. That would look like a catfish. Uh, just didn't button up on the hook, but that's the way it goes. Uh, went a little bit further and ended up catching two. Uh, nice, big, mature male. Beat up from the spawn, that's a good sign. That's two today that are uh, kind of beat up. And uh, then a female, uh, both of them in the teens, nice fish. And uh, starting to get some boat traffic. You can see right now we're starting to get some boat weight. Uh, it's a Sunday, it's inevitable. Uh, it's gonna happen. Weekend warriors and they're out here in force and uh, it's just part of the, part of the deal. Uh, I honestly, don't mind fishing it uh, if I'm drifting. Uh, I can't do it anchored. It's just uh, crazy. But yeah, if I can get on a good drift, a good pull, uh, I'll do it uh, trolling, especially when the fish are in the deeper water. You can still catch them. Uh, I've actually come across some good fish out here uh, in the middle of some stupid boat traffic. So I'm going to give it uh, one more drag. I'm going to drag one more area, see if I can get on some fish. And uh, then I'll call it a day. This one stayed buttoned. Yes, sir. Still hooked up. Be a little impromptu photo session. Ooh. You're wondering how smooth the drag was on these reels. Okay. I'm in about 33 feet of water in the river channel. There's a lot of stuff in the channel here lately. Uh, we don't have a thermic line in place, which is kind of odd for this time of the year. But we've also had a lot of water moving through the system. So it's kept stuff churned up. There's just probably not that much cool water down there anymore. fish big cat fever medium action rods Some looks more like a male yep scott up male Good looking male blue cat there, buddy. These are, these males are starting to show up, folks. This is several days in a row now of these mature male blue cats showing up in the creel. AC, AC, AC. That's that one. Yeah, about the same way. Low tear. Good fish. You can see the size difference there. A lot more emaciated head eat up there from spawning activity. Not as big. Not the belly like that female that I just had in here. 
but a gorgeous fish nonetheless back in the water well everything i'm pulling today is sandy rigs no planter boards uh they can kind of get sloshed all around when you're out here especially with a lot of boat wake from these uh, weekend warriors that are out here so uh yeah just pulling uh six straight rods on sandy rigs got some uh, white perch uh for bait uh all of them were alive i've cut them up and uh seem to be hitting them bite's not on fire it's not explosive i think we've only got three fish now so uh here's what it is it's summertime late spawn post spawn fishing it's gonna get better any day man finishing up a long drag without any bites it's just been that kind of a uh trip these fish are the ones that are biting are in a few small areas uh, it's usually along channel edges or some kind of change uh, but when you look at them on sonar they're scattered so i don't know man it's just uh is what it is you kind of have to fish it the way you can fish it and see what happens so that's what i'm doing here this fish i don't think knows it's hooked yet let's see Yeah. Kind of one of them kind of days. A lot of boat traffic. It's getting close to noon, and uh, there's a fish. It's a good fish. A lot of boats out. Woohoo! Another teener sized fish. female <sighs> missed it got it <sighs> excellent fish excellent fish good one Rarely a teener, but it made the cut. Fish. Good female. A belly full of, feels like mussels in there. It's a nice fish. Go down. One last look. Fish back alive. A little slime in my mouth. Here you go, guys. Uh, that's only four fish today it's tough fishing um but man this is the sunday after july 4th it's been a pile of boat traffic out here so i'm sure that plays a part uh it definitely isn't helping things any but all i can do is just cover water i mean that's kind of the kind of what's been working the past few days just covering water getting used to not catching fish getting used to not getting bit and uh sooner or later you stumble on the sun so well folks if you made it this far thank you for watching please consider subscribing and here are a couple of more videos that i think you're gonna like